What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. We are heading out right now, my buddy's picking me up. We, uh, we didn't end up waiting, we didn't end up waiting a month or two to uh, pull the trigger. We waited basically a week and um, I'm heading to, to buy a Raptor, well, look at a Raptor and potentially buy it if everything checks out. So, we have about an hour drive out towards, out towards the Annapolis area. Hoping everything checks out, it's a 2013 Gen 1 uh, Ford Raptor. So, should be, should be a fun day, we'll see. Wish me luck, but uh, let's roll. Hey. Well, we're pulling the trigger. Got a 2013 with 90,000 miles. Fairly clean though. The, uh, the owner actually has a 2017 Ford Raptor he's upgrading to. But uh, pretty happy with it. The interior is nice and clean. Everything seems to be working. Sounds good, accelerates good. Has an aftermarket exhaust. That's really the only mod to it. Back seats, super clean. Get a ton of space back here when you fold them up. You got the uh, bed cover. Uh, might need to replace that light though. Looks a little worn, but it functions. It's good. Though the wheels look nice. Obviously the tow package and whatnot. Sounds pretty good. Got another V8 coming to the, uh, the garage. Fox suspension, pretty clean in here too for 90,000. Not too shabby. Well, we'll be taking this bad boy home. Can put the dirt bike in the back. All right, guys, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. That's right, four built tough. Ooh, that's a V8 aftermarket exhaust on this bad boy. It does sound pretty good. All right, well, we just purchased this truck. So now we are uh, two, two V8s, two V8s and an inline six in the in the family. We, it's not gonna go in the garage because I don't think it'll fit with, with uh, the other cars. I actually don't know. It might be too tall, it might be too tall. Either way, we just bought a Gen 1 2013 F-150 Ford Raptor. Uh, this video, next video, we'll go over everything. Things that I looked at when I was looking at this truck. Um, other trucks I considered. Why I like it? Well, I like this one because well, lower mileage. It was a little bit more expensive than some other ones, but super clean interior. Um, the guy bought it from somebody he knows at a Ford dealership, so it worked out perfectly. Uh, super clean, everything looks good. He just basically did an aftermarket exhaust, and that was really it. So, um, you know, I like that there wasn't a ton done to it. No like crazy wheels and tires. No crazy suspension. Didn't really go crazy off roading it. So I knew it should be a pretty uh, pretty sound truck. Reinforced frame. That's the key. You want 2013 or 14 for the Gen ones. Obviously the other ones aren't that bad. Obviously if uh, you're not off roading it too, it really doesn't matter that much. But uh, yeah, wow. Let's uh, let's get this thing on the highway and see what she can uh, see what she can do. See the beauty of the Ford Raptor. You can just hit the speed bumps and accelerate through them. <laughs> uh, this is this is a fun truck. I'm not gonna lie. Like it drives beautifully too. Handles really nicely. Uh, gets up to speed nicely. You know, it's got just the right amount of power to get out of its own way. What is it like six thousand pounds or something like that? But just like cruise over those speed bumps. That's so much fun. All right. This thing. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Wait for it. Ready? Definitely not the quickest thing, but I mean, I mean, it sounds incredible, and it gets up and goes when you really want it to. So, it's a fun truck. I got my uh, my buddy in his F two fifty Super Duty diesel. That thing is pretty much a straight back exhaust with a tune. I think I don't know what kind of horsepower that thing makes. So apparently, I think this only has mid grade fuel in it. Unfortunately, so obviously we'll be doing premium. Uh, that was a little sad to hear, but uh, this thing, that thing looks nice. That's a twenty seventeen. F-250. Woo-wee! <laughs> this truck sounds real nice with that diesel. But man, yeah, this thing's gonna be fun. We can put our dirt bike in the back. We can do, obviously, light off-roading, which I'm probably never gonna do. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
All right, guys, 2013 Ford Raptor 6.2 liter V8. Uh, we did purchase this bad boy, brought it home. I actually took the uh, tint, unfortunately, off of the uh, front windows and uh, front windshield last night. The rears, I'm pretty sure we can leave them on in Maryland. Same thing with the rear. Um, but yeah, so want to first and foremost say a huge thank you to my neighbor who helped me with some things to look at when you're looking at these trucks. Um, he has a 2014, also a Gen 1 Ford Raptor um, in a nice tan color. But um, I talked to him before I purchased this vehicle about a week before a very quick decision. And he told me some things to look through. So I'm just going to walk through some of those things with you and point out some other stuff that we talked about as well. So. Uh, first things first is obviously just check in the wheel wells underneath the vehicle for rust and whatnot. Obviously, the less the better. You know how that goes. Um, ask them if they have had the, the, the shocks rebuilt. So these have Fox shocks. Uh, they do come standard on the Ford Raptors, as you can see more clearly here. SVT Fox suspension on the Ford Raptors. Uh, when they get up closer to, you know, 75, 90, 100,000 miles, sometimes they do need to be rebuilt or you can replace them either way, but just check those out, make sure they're in decent shape. Now, some other stuff that I actually didn't think to look at, but if the person did actually do off-roading or any sort of jumping of the truck, one thing to check is basically some of the lines on the truck. So right here, you can see that you want this gap to be basically about the same all the way up and down. That means there's no flexing of the bed. And then same thing with this gap here. You want this gap to be basically the same because if they did any sort of jumping, you might see it, you know, bend a little bit. So you want it to be a consistent gap all the way up and down. Now, uh, this one does have a bed cover. Uh, it is a backflip bed cover. Apparently these are pretty good, so that works for me. Um, some other stuff you can check out, they do come with this uh, foot thing. You basically just pull this out like this, it slides out and down, and then this thing can uh, flip up for the step. But just make sure that that works. Um, no issues there, not a big deal. But those just get pulled out. And then same thing with this, um, you slide this up and lift the, the handle up. But this has a little bit of a bed line, but obviously you can check the bed for rust and whatnot. Now, the bigger details that you do want to check out on these things inside, if we can get it unlocked, inside the truck, once you get in here, you do want to check out, uh, just shift it into four high, four low, um, and check the front and rear camera. So we go ahead and start this bad boy up. Built Ford Tough. We got Raptor SVT on the main screen there. We can go ahead and start her up. Woof. Got an aftermarket exhaust, so she sounds pretty good. Um, so right here, there's a uh, little directional arrows and OK button on the steering wheel. Up here, you can see that there is a display. On this left side, that's how you go up and down for those different things. If you go to the middle one, um, this is basically like truck, uh, what is it? Yeah, so if you go up and down, you can see we want to go to truck apps then you hit right, and now you can see that this is like off-road stuff. So if you go over two more times, you can see the off-road camera. This is the front-facing camera, so you can see like rocks and boulders in front of you or whatever. Um, it says camera disabled, so we're gonna hit okay to enable it, and then it tells you how to activate the front camera. So you can either shift it all the way over to four low, or you can put it into off-road mode and lock the diff. So off-road mode is right down here. We can touch that button. You can see that light turns on, off-road mode enabled. And to lock the diff, you simply just pull this out. Um, and then once we do that, we should, we should be able to see the front camera. So you just shift it into drive, front camera, as you can see, it's pointing down my driveway. That way you can check that. And if you go into reverse, obviously you want to check out the rear camera. Just make sure both of those things work. Uh, once you do that, the other things I would say are just push this back in to uh, unlock the diff, but shift through four high and four low. You just turn the knob to do that. Make sure it shifts okay. There's no errors, anything like that. Uh, the next thing you want to check is basically that the AC and heat work without any like crazy noises uh, and whatnot. There's basically a part that is behind you. You basically have to rip all this out, take out the CD player, and then access it between like going in through the glove box in the front here to replace a part. Um, sometimes that happens with the HVAC in these trucks. So just uh, make sure you crank up the heat, crank up the cooling, make sure it blows hot, blows cold, and doesn't make any weird noises just to check that. Otherwise, it could be a couple hundred dollars to repair, uh, or you might have to do it yourself. Still pay a couple hundred dollars in parts. But yeah, those are probably the biggest things that you want to look for that could be issues. These 
bug on the on the uh <laughs> these trucks are pretty reliable as long as you keep up with maintenance 6.2 liter v8s in these things are pretty solid they should go 200 300 000 miles maybe even more i don't really know but they seem fairly reliable seem like a fun truck uh, i like the performance aspect of having a truck and i needed a truck so obviously i've always been more of like a sports car supercar kind of guy the aston martin v8 in the garage is a ton of fun uh, but when i was looking at trucks this just sounded like the best option for me at least for now until the cyber truck comes out we'll see how that goes um, but those are some things to look at to think about uh, when you're buying these trucks also if you just ask the person oh where have you off-roaded it how high have you jumped it if they say yes to those things you might want to walk away because well that means they off-roaded it they jumped it there could be issues that are lurking that you don't know about so it may or may not be worth it depending on how uh you know well they took care of the truck anyways interior obviously just you know check for any uh cosmetic stuff but that's really it this truck has 90,220 miles on it she sounds pretty good um and i'm pretty excited to uh get her out on the road make some more videos with her but yeah we unfortunately had to remove all of the tint on the uh side front windows and the windshield because in maryland you can't have that to pass inspection so that was unfortunate but other than that this truck was super clean we have the svt rubber floor mats there's just so much space in the back of these trucks when you fold those seats up which is fantastic you have heated and cooled seats which comes standard um obviously we have the sync 2 display would love to upgrade this to the sync 3. uh there aren't really ways but i think there are some ways so we're gonna we're gonna figure that out um and then obviously we have the uh the trailer brake here and you can see trailer disconnected when you pull that but uh yeah check out the engine oh one other thing to note i guess it is common for the engines to have a little bit of a ticking when you start up especially in the cold so that is something i heard and was a little weary of um but um I, I, my understanding is my neighbor informed me that uh, it is pretty common. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Hope to learn more about this truck um, and uh, hope to have a lot of fun with it. So until next time, guys, uh, thanks for watching.